few stays in India and I end up in a hospital in India in Kochi. I had a lot of pain when I was urinating. The urge to go to the toilet was present all the time, even when my bladder was empty. And the worst thing, I had a blood in my urine, so it had to be serious. The emergency station in Cochin was very small. I had to take my shoes off, I registered, this got me a few rupees. Very soon I met a doctor, a nice lady who spoke English. She listened to my story and sent me to the nearby laboratory for the urine test. They couldn't though help me because the electricity was broken. After a few days, I went to a private hospital in Kottayam Kolam. The staff was very kind, they took good care of me, they asked a lot of questions and of course they made an urine test. As expected, I had an urinary tract infection. One and a half year ago, I had a similar incident. At that time, I also went to hospital. It was in Berlin. The doctor gave me an antibiotic. The pain was immediately gone. Here, similarly, the doctor prescribed antibiotics. But this time, I wasn't so convinced to take it. It would work, but for how long? Would my problem repeat again in the future? I was in India. I could try more natural ways. There is so many Ayurvedic doctors in India. So when I come back home, I search the internet to find out about uh, urinary tract infection. And what I found were girls talking about their recurrent urinary tract infection and how they treated it with uh, Diman Noza. It looks like this product I use is called Pimanos. I didn't know where to buy it in India. At the end, I decided to check an Ayurvedic treatment. The next day, good morning, another day in India. We are going to the, to the uh, Ayurvedic hospital. I feel better, uh, even I didn't take any medicine. I feel less pain. And I'm really curious how the Ayurvedic uh, hospital works. It was smaller and more neglected than the conventional hospital. The Ayurvedic hospital was a government property. Easily here as well, I made an appointment with the doctor. The meeting was almost immediately, I didn't have to wait. The doctor talked with me for a while, saw the results of the urine test and prescribed an Ayurvedic medicines. It was Nieringin powder, Chandra Parthavati tablets, Brihatyani Kashayam and Ural syrup. I bought first medicine at pharmacy in the hospital the two other medicine I had to buy in another place close by. In the same day, I took the medicine. It's not so bad. <laughs> they told me it would be horrible. It's actually tasty. The taste was bitter, but not uh, horrible at all. The days varied. Today's the last day that I'm taking the medicine. I had three uh, packages of this thing, this, as you can see, it's almost finished. This uh, medicine, the nearing the powder, I stopped to take it after two days because I had really stomach pain after it. I had dizzy, nausea, so I figured out it's from it. Today is the first day that I urinate without pain. Uh, I had many struggles between. The pain grew up uh, during taking these medicines. I had back pain, but I don't have any more back pain. Um, yeah, and it's kind of working. Finished! This is finished. I'm so happy I don't have to eat it anymore. But my problem wasn't over. We moved to the other city to train Kalari Payatu. After 10 days, since I finished all prescribed Ayurvedic medicine, after one week training, the pain returned. I was surrounded by Ayurvedic doctors. I was actually living in the hospital, which I will tell all the story why I was in this hospital and how I trained Kalari Payatu in the other video. You will see it soon. Uh, so the doctors took very good care of me. At the same day, I received medicines very similar to the medicines I received before. 
I took the medicine immediately, I went to sleep, I was very tired and the pain was really annoying. So I think I slept whole day and when I wake up, the pain was gone. I still took the medicine for the next uh, one and a half week and the pain didn't return. So I can say the treatment was very painful and lasted long and it, my problem repeated during this whole time, almost one month, but it worked at the end. And if I could say right now, would I use again Ayurvedic treatment to treat my urinary tract infection? I would say yes, I would do that. I wouldn't take antibiotics, I'm, I'm sure of this, because as I uh, saw this information from internet, the urinary tract infection repeats and the girls have to deal with it in the other way at some point. So it was a good decision, but definitely I would uh, include resting in that moment. I was traveling, I was very busy with thousand things, I was training. Now it's three months after I took the treatment and I started to write articles about urinary tract infection, about my story. I would like to quickly share it with you. First thing which took my attention was body-mind approach. It means social behaviors, emotions, can influence our health. Urine-related problems are connected to the territory marking conflict. Territory can be our home, our identity, beliefs, boundaries with other people. In my case, after leaving Kung Fu school, I didn't have home, I didn't have money, I didn't have job. We were traveling with Daniel and we always said, somehow, we will make it. And it was true. We, we were happy, we were traveling, it, everything was okay. We have money to eat, we had place to sleep, but still in my mind I felt insecure. Second territory, overstepping the territory by a partner. When I was very tired or um, I felt stressed out and Daniel wanted to make love with me, uh, I would say no and I felt guilty that I'm making him unhappy and I'm pushing him away. We really had to talk about it a lot and I recommend you as well if you have your partner and you notice that maybe this problem is in your relationship, talk to him and it can be one conversation, it can be two conversations, one week, one month, maybe even more time you need to understand each other, to feel comfortable in this area, but it's worth it. Other factors very important to keep uh, urinary tract healthy, proper diet. I eat a lot of sweets. When we eat a lot of sweets, the bacteria, fungi, uh, other microorganisms which are bad for us. Sugar creates amazing environment for them to multiply and grow. And from rectum, it's a very short way to urethra. Second thing, if we have sex and we don't have enough lubrication, that causes abrasion of vagina. This leads very, very easily to irritation of soft tissue and secondary infection. Solution for that is a natural lubricants. I wouldn't use the one from the shop. I check their ingredients and even bio, even healthy, natural, whatever, have ingredients which I personally don't like. I found this uh, cream propolis it's not a lubricant but it works amazing i really recommend it i tried as well coconut oil i didn't like it so much ayurveda says that Urinary tract infection can come from excessive physical activity. 
In India, I didn't give my body proper rest during the treatment. I didn't give a proper rest after the treatment and my urinary tract infection repeated. Proper rest and proper diet. Drink plenty of water, especially when you feel something is going on. When you have a lot of physical activity, when your diet is not proper, when you have a lot of sex. <laughs> Drink plenty of water, that helps. Keep the lower back warm. If it's winter, even in summertime, this place is a kidney place. Use no artificial soaps. I really recommend the one which are recommended by gynecologists and are specially made for intimate hygiene. Thank you very much for listening and for uh, letting me uh, share with you my experience about urinary tract infection. I really hope it will help you as this information helped me. All the information I put on my two articles on my website, uh, moreme.space. There are also details about Ayurvedic uh, medicines which I use. There are details about uh, what causes urinary tract infection, about uh, body-mind approach and all the steps describes even with more details than I'm talking right now. Thank you very much.